Ah, Flint. I want Flint to be the king. We need to strike quickly. Directly at Nassau with as many forces as we can muster, and today we are two battered fighters at the end of a long fight. The next blow struck may be a decisive one, and we have to be the one to strike. Stop! I prepared these men to follow Long John Silver upon his return. Now, if you assume that in his absence that role now reverts to you, <laughs> then you assume wrong. See, my men know your name. You weren't the one who recruited them into this. You weren't the one who has lived with them and drank with them, and bled with them. So in the absence of Long John Silver, the men will look to me. Oh no. I have become so easily set aside, have I? Do you have value to me? Yes. But do we need you here? No. We do not. You're forgetting one thing. Somewhere on an island a few days' journey from here is a chest filled with treasure. Buried oh. in a secret place. And of the three men who know of that place, I may be the last one alive after the day. Are you threatening to withhold the location of the chest that every man here is counting upon to provide for Nassau's treasury once we secure it? Solely so you can maintain your own status here? There is an unthinkable victory within our reach. And I will see this through by whatever means I have at my disposal. <laughs> Seems like I act a small man to you. Were he here, I am sure Mr. Silver would make this all sound more agreeable to you. But without him, think what you like. My word will govern. <laughs> Three men know the resting place of the chest and one woman. Oh. He told it to me before we left home. Oh. There will be no pirate king here. <laughs> of that much, I am certain. Okay, Silver's not bad. There will be a pirate king and it will be Silver. Well, he's going back to the ship? That's smart, I guess. Is it smart? Oh, Silver. Why didn't you just go up? Why didn't you just go up? I would have lost my breath. The first few seconds in the water. <laughs> that gave me a lot of anxiety. The ship is just going to sink. Border right. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Ah, oh, poor goat. I don't want to see the goat die. Ah, fuck. The goat died. Silver, what are you doing? You should have just gone up. He ain't never gonna see you in that way. Mm. No, he wanted to, but it ain't never gonna happen. Think that little of me, but I care so much how I'm seen in his eyes, I'd be willing to lose my life over it. Why did you do it? When I was in that carriage with the governor, I had a chance to end it all. I had my hands around his neck. Aww. Had I done more in that moment? Had I been more? Charles would still be here. The idea that he might be looking down on me in this moment and find me not doing everything in my power Aww. to see his death answered for, that is something I'm willing to put my life at risk over. Charles Vane stood by us when no one else would. No. Charles Vane risked his life for us. Charles Vane. Oh, fuck Charles Vane. No, don't fuck Charles Vane. I know how you felt about him. Felt the same way and you know it. He's dead. That's true. And what happens when those motives start demanding their own ends? And this thing will all apart or start splitting right down the middle? That isn't going to happen. It already is. Mm. What did he do? Set a course for NASA to send a message when we return. Oh. That this can all end. <laughs> if the governor turns over the one thing he wants. Oh! <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, Blackbeard. I've no idea how he got out of there, but whatever. And he swam all that way to the fucking oh god. Now who the fuck is this? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, and he he has one leg! This fucked up. What are you doing? You can't outcrawl him! At least search for a weapon! Oh, does he know him? Probably does. Long John Silver. Welcome home. Now it's gonna end! Ah, <laughs> that was a fucking amazing episode. This was one way to start a season. Amazing, amazing, amazingly done episode. 
I fucking didn't expect that big battle at the start. I didn't expect him to go to NASA right away. But I love it so much. I don't want to see any more Maroon Island shit. Even though we're probably going to see it, but I don't want to see Flint at Maroon Island. I want to see Flint and Nessa and I want to see him in action. There was one thing that I have completely forgotten about in my prediction video for season 4. And that is the Spanish people. The Spanish people are still mad that the gold is gone. So if Flint and Silver are going to win the war with Rogers, then the Spanish people are still going to come and destroy the entirety of Nassau. That's something I completely forgot about. So, is it gonna happen in this season? It has to, because there's no season 5. Is this a Treasure Island thing? No, Treasure Island is about Long John Silver searching for a treasure that Flynn buried. So, what the fuck? We'll see what's going to happen. The Spanish people are probably gonna be involved in the story one way or another. I do hear Rogers talking about England being at war with Spain. Is that what that is all, all about? Is that the... Spanish people being mad about the gold still being gone. Is that why England and Spain are at war? I think so. I wouldn't know another reason for it. This episode was so good. First, let's talk about Flint. Flint is everything that I wanted him to be. He's a bad guy, villainous, canny character. That's everything that I want him to be, so... That's great. The way he talked to Billy, the way he threatened him about the gold, about Spanish gold, the way he threatened him because he wanted to be... The king of Nassau is amazing. I love Flint. <laughs> He's been done with Billy since the first episode of season one, which is really good. Looking back at season one, it's kind of weird because it was Silver who put Flint against Billy. And now Billy is putting Silver against Flint. And what the fuck? <laughs> I'm also all in with the Long John Silver. It just sounds badass. Long John Silver. <laughs> I'm so ready for it. Let's talk about Jack and Blackbeard. Jack is an amazing character. I love him. He's right. He needs to step up his game if he wants to avenge Charles. What Anne said made sense. Charles is dead, so he should focus on his living side. But still, he needs to step up his game. He needs to murder people. He needs to become a badass. I believe Jack can do that. Fucking Blackbeard murdering those people to send a message to Wood Rogers because he wants fucking Eleanor. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready for that. Eleanor is definitely going to 100% die. And I'm ready for it. That's going to be the best episode of this season. I already know I want it to happen really fucking fast. Rogers, I really like his character. He's kind of all over the place. He has his bad sides, but he does want to follow the law. And I think... He didn't like it that the one stupid guy with the big fat nose cut up the ore of Flint's man. I don't think he was a fan of that at all. So we'll see what's going to happen with that. I kind of missed what the whole thing with him and Max was about. He kind of, I was listening to it, but I didn't quite understand it. So someone explain it for me. Or I'm probably going to find out when I'm editing. So maybe you don't have to explain it. Everyone thinks fucking Silver is dead. But I don't know why Silver just didn't go up. He could have gone up. He could have, and then I think that would have been a, a bigger chance for him to live than whatever he did after that. I don't even know how he got out of there. It saddens me that the ghost died. Whatever happened to Kitty Cat from season one? Randall's Kitty Cat. I really want to rewatch season one, to be honest. I really want to, but I'm going to rewatch it after I'm finishing this show. Maddie and Silver being together, that's, that's... I think everyone saw that coming, so... Me being happy that I predicted that isn't that big of a deal. I really loved, really, really, really fucking loved this episode. Too many great things happened, too many great characters. As long as we don't see Max and Eleanor that much, I'm happy with it. And we didn't see him that much, so I'm happy with it. Really excited for the season. The rating for this episode is going to be a 9 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. The battle at the beginning was great. The whole episode was great. Just. An overall almost perfect episode. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this amazing episode of Black Sales with me. Leave a like on the video if you loved the video. Leave your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below. I love to read all the comments every time, every day. Subscribe here if you want to see me react to the rest of Black Sales season four. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.